This is a case of Helene Jegado, a French servant and arsenic serial killer. She was born on a small farm in Plouinec, near Lorient, in Brittany. Her mother died when she was seven, and she was sent to work with two aunts, who were servants at the rectory at Boubry. She worked there with her aunts until, at the age of seventeen, she moved with one aunt to the town of Siglan. She became a cook at the local parish, where an incident occurred where she was accused of adding hemp from the priest's grain house to his soup. She was first suspected of poisoning in 1833, when she worked for another priest, Father Francois Le Drogo, in the village of Guern. In three months between June 28th and October 3rd, seven members of the family suddenly died, including the priest, his parents, and even her own sister, who was visiting. Her overwhelming sorrow and distraught behavior were so convincing she was not suspected. Plus, with the deaths coming not long after the cholera epidemic of 1832, The deaths may have been attributed to natural causes. Helene then returned to Boubry to replace her sister. Where soon after her arrival, three more victims died, including her aunt. All three cared by Helene at their bedsides. She then relocated to Locmeny, where she took board with a needleworker named Marie Jeanne Le Bocher. But soon Marie's son became ill, and Marie and her daughter died. Then, in the same town, a widow named Loray offered Helene a room. But she too soon died, after eating soup prepared by Helene. Then, in May 1835, Helene was hired by a Madame Trousson, where four more deaths followed. By this time. Helene had killed seventeen people. Later, in 1835, she was employed at the convent in Arles, but was quickly dismissed after stealing and sacrilegious acts. Helene then worked as a cook in other households in Arles, then Pontivy, Lorient, and then Port Louis. Even though she was only briefly at each place, someone quickly became sick. Or died. One of her more infamous murders was of the child Marie Rogier, who died at the Chateau de Soye in 1841, ten years and one month before her final arrest. Most of Helene's victims showed signs of arsenic poisoning, though she was never caught with it in her possession. There is no record of any deaths between 1841 to 1849, but a number of her employers later reported thefts. She was apparently a kleptomaniac and was caught stealing several times. Then, in 1850, Helene joined the staff of Theophile Bedard, a law professor at the University of Rennes. One of his servants, Rose Tessier. Fell ill and died after Helene attended to her. Then, in 1851, another servant, Rosalie Sarazen, fell ill and also died. Two doctors had tried to save Sarazen, and since the symptoms were so similar to Tessier, they convinced the families to perform an autopsy. Helene aroused suspicion when she claimed her innocence before she was even asked anything. And they arrested her on July 1st, 1851. Later inquiries linked her to 23 murders between 1833 and 1841, but none of these were thoroughly investigated, since they were outside the 10-year limit for prosecution, and there was no scientific evidence. The most reliable estimate is she probably committed 36 murders. Helene's trial took place on December 6, 1851, but due to French law of permissible evidence, 
and statute of limitations. She was only charged with three murders, three attempted murders, and eleven thefts. Her behavior in court was very erratic, from meek mutterings to loud pious shouting, and sometimes violent outbursts against her accusers. She constantly denied knowing what arsenic was, despite evidence showing otherwise. Doctors who had examined her victims had not usually noticed anything at first, but when the recent bodies had been exhumed, they showed overwhelming evidence of arsenic poisoning. Her defense lawyer, in his closing speech, argued that she needed more time than most to repent and could be spared the death penalty because she was dying of cancer. The case garnered little attention because of political upheaval in the country. Helene Jagado was executed by guillotine in front of a large crowd on February 26, 1852.